Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, all praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for giving me the spirit to push out this gospel by way of this lesson. All right, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew, and Yahweh Shai being the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And peace and grace be upon the house of David, which is the elect of men, women, and children that are predestined to be uh, delivered okay, from the second death to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel, and double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, I'm um, just going to get right into it. Lord willing, it be edifying unto the elect who we endure all things for. All right, this is Jeremiah 32, verse 27. It says, Behold, I am Yahweh, the power of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? All right, and that right there signifies why we need to, why we should have, you know, ultimate unwavering faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shad. Okay, this, this scripture, all right, right here is the, is, is the reason, man. There's nothing too hard for yeah, our power, man. The power that we serve, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He is the power of all flesh. He created. He is the creator. Okay, he is the. He is, man. Okay, he is. So anything that we go through is nothing for him to deliver us out of it because he created anything that we're going through. Okay, he's the Potter of the, of everything that's in existence, man. So there's nothing too hard for him. To deliver us from and with that in our minds with with just this simple scripture right here well simple but very impactful scripture if we have total faith okay total belief in in this then no matter what we we go through okay we should we have to we should know that if the lord wants to deliver us and we believe that the lord to deliver us from it then guess what he's going to deliver us from it no matter what all right. From our eyes, it may seem like it's 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 impossible. But as you know, the scripture says, which is one of the scriptures with the most high, man, this is light work, man. It's easy. OK, it's 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 possible. Anything that we are in is possible for the Lord to take us out. OK, now I got two examples, you know, uh, you know, uh, famous, you know, examples of this very same thing uh, um, of how. The Lord showing that is it's nothing. It's not too hard for Him to deliver the righteous from you know uh, from from their persecution, from their trials, from their affliction. Okay, even though when you think about it, you know with with our you know uh, with our our small minute brains that we have, you would we would think you know this is impossible. It's 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 quote unquote scientifically uh, impossible for this to happen. But guess what, man? The Lord is above us man he's above our thoughts as the scripture says his ways are not our ways and his thoughts are not our thoughts his actions we can't even comprehend them okay that's why i told you that in the apocrypha that um actually you know i just go to spirit let's pull that out real quick you know it tells you that in the apocrypha that we can't even uh serve the lord as you know for what he is man all right that's why we serve that's why we give all praises to his name because we can't serve the we can't praise and serve the lord for all of his mighty acts man because it's just too much all right this is um uh ecclesiasticus or sirach chapter 42 verse um verse 20 21 it says he has garnished the excellence of the he has garnished the excellent work of his wisdom so like let me just make sure no this is not it uh Actually, yeah, I'm going to jump too. it says he has garnished the excellent work of his wisdom and he is from everlasting to everlasting unto him may nothing be added. Neither can he be diminished and he have no need of any counselor. Why? Because he is the power of all flesh. Who can counsel? Who can counsel the one who created counseling? OK, who created every living thing. All right. He has no need. To, to, to uh, have a counselor. He can't be nothing. You can't add anything unto him and you can't diminish anything from, from Yahweh. All right. And this is why we should have unwavering, undoubtless faith in the Lord, man. This is why faith is the, is the main thing to please the Heavenly Father, because 
and his the way that the Lord is looking at it is is like I am I do everything and you don't have faith in me you know when when that's that's why it's 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 uh that's why it's wicked to not have faith man all right it's wicked to not have faith because you're basically saying that the Lord is not all powerful that the Lord is not all is not all in all when you don't have faith in him when you don't trust him when you don't believe him all right it says verse 22 oh how desirable are all his works that a man that a man may see even to a spark that's right all right even to a spark we it, it, we 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 don't even see man even a little glimpse that's all we have is a little a little salt a little one little salt of of all the magnificent works of the lord verse 23 it says all things and all these things live and remain for all all uses and they are all obedient everything's obedient to, to the heavenly father man okay he's not up there having a battle with his creation man <laughs> okay he created the the righteous and he created the wicked he created the left and the right and they all obey him and that's why it's it's vital the just shall live by faith because everything else the lord is it has everything underneath his control everything is underneath the lord's control even the opposition is underneath his control even the the one the the esau coming at us is underneath the lord's control all things are obedient unto him so guess what when we go through you know if it if we have to go through that 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 uh uh, concentration camp if we have to go through being tortured if we have to go through you know uh the guillotine any of those things man the lord is controlling that and just as he put us in that position he could take us us he could take us out of that position easily nothing is too hard for him all right so i'm gonna get this uh scripture i believe it was actually in the next chapter um please ask this 43 i believe ecclesiastes yeah ecclesiastes uh 43 verse um 27 it says we we may uh, we may speak much and yet come short wherefore in some he is all that's it that's the only thing we could say because if you try to if you try to explain the heavenly father if you try to go into details you can't so the only thing you can just say that's why it says we may speak much you may have a whole monologue trying to explain the heavenly father and you still gonna come short so therefore Wherefore, in some, to sum it all up, all we can say is he is all, man. And if we have that understanding that he is all, why would you not put all your trust in the one that is all? All right? The these the title of the most, the most high, that's not just, you know, some random title. That is what he is. He's the most high. Almighty power. Literally, he has all the might and all the power. Okay? That's why faith is. And that power is the only righteous thing that you can do. Having faith in a gun, having faith in your own flesh, having faith in Esau, having faith in anything else is is insanity. Okay, it's really is dumb. It's foolish, man. Hey, that's why the Lord always always was calling Israel foolish. Like you're having faith in these other false gods, and you're going against me, and I'm all. You're foolish. That's a foolish people, man. All right, verse 28 says, how should we be able to magnify him? For he is great above all his works. And that's the only thing we see. We see the works of the Lord. And, and this is light to him. Okay, this, it wasn't hard for the Lord to create, to, uh, to, to uh, you know, instruct Yahweh Shai and the angels to create the heavens. Okay, Yahweh Shai created, created the earth off of the thought, off of the, off of the thought of the Most High. And it wasn't hard for the Lord to, to to think this. This is this is a creation of His, man. He's far He's far great above all this. Verse twenty nine. For the Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous is His power, man. It's marvelous. It's a marvel at, at of, of the much power that the Lord has, man. We can't even comprehend it. It says, when we glorify the Lord, exalt Him as much as you can. For even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your energy and be not weary. For ye can never go far enough. So even all the energy, all the strength, all the spirit that you have to exalt the Lord is not even enough. 
to exalt him as he is, man. That's why, really, it comes to what? The faith in the Lord. It comes to just believing that he is, man. Because that's the only way that you can possibly please him. It's just by, you know what? You are. And you are the greatest. And there's nothing, nothing too hard for you. Anything that you say will be done. Having that ultimate faith in the Lord. Whenever we see any adversity, anything that's coming up against us, we trust in the Lord. That's that right there is 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 the way to please him. Because anything else that you, any strength that you have, it can it can't go far enough. All right. It says verse 31. <clears throat> who have seen him that he might tell us, and who can magnify him as he is? You can't, man. For there are yet hid greater things than these be. So the things that we've seen, there's greater things that the Lord has done, man. For we have seen but a few of his works. All right. And and the point is, and I'm against some of the some of the uh examples of a few of the most high's works that are eat that was easily done for him to do all right but to us it's it would seem impossible and that's only a few of his works and there are things that are greater than these things that he's done that that we have that is you know recorded that will be done in these last days man so that's why we have to have the ultimate faith in the heavenly father yahweh bashim yahweh shot all right so one of the examples is the example of you know Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, okay? Because I was talking to the brother, and we know we was just you know in the spirit, just chopping it up about you know uh, you know these days that we're coming into, you know Esau coming down upon us, and I had made a, a, a mention of the seven brothers, which you know I don't have it up, but I just you know the seven brothers and the Maccabees, how they were you know being persecuted, and they were being tortured, being maimed, okay? You no, know, uh, this this crazy things that was happening to them. But yet, they still had the, the strength and the spirit to, you know, talk shit, basically rebuke uh, the king while they was getting maimed, okay? While they was getting their tongue cut off, their arms cut off, they would still had the spirit to, to, to basically rebuke that, uh, that devil, okay, that Edomite, and curse him out. Why? Because they had faith in the Lord. And I was saying, basically, having that faith, I, be I personally believe... If you have that faith in that day, even if you being, you know, you get, uh, you getting beat up, okay? Esau takes you to, you know, some deserted place, and they and they're beating you up, and they torturing you, whatever. You know, they peeling your nails off, whatever. If you have the faith in the heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, He can give you the spirit to not even feel that, man. And I personally believe that those seven brothers wasn't feeling it. That's why they was able to talk shit, okay? Because you getting your arms chopped off, your tongue cut cut out. You'll be, you know, screaming. You, you ain't gonna. You would think you won't have the, the 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 strength to, you know, rebuke this the person who's doing it. All right, to tell that person that yeah, you you getting me right now, but I'm gonna get you later. You know, uh, you know, roughly paraphrasing. When you getting your arm chopped off, you getting thrown into, you know, boiling water. You would you would think that you don't have that 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 capability to do that. But hey, through the faith that they had, the Lord could put the spirit on you to not even feel that man. And this is an example of. And an and example of that is in the scriptures of, of of the scripture right here in Daniel's the third chapter in the 17th verse. It says, if so be, if it be so, our power whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us out of the uh, out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy God nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. All right, so they're telling him right here that the power that we serve is able to deliver us from a burning, fiery furnace. Now, these people in, in, in Babylon, these Babylonians never seen somebody get delivered out of a fiery furnace. That's why they have it set up, because when they go against the commandment of the king or whatever, what happens? They get thrown to the furnace and they get, and they get those people get killed. They get destroyed. They get burnt up. But these three men had the faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That even if they get thrown in this in this furnace, they they truly wholeheartedly believe that the heavenly Father Bashim Yahushai can deliver them from this. Now they never seen that happen, but they had the faith, man, and they knew it was not too hard for the Lord to do it. The Lord created the furnace; He created the fire. Okay, He is a consuming fire. <laughs> okay, 
and that's the mentality that we gotta have, man. Especially coming in, in these last days, because Esau setting up that 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 the mark of the beast, all right, the chip, in order to what for 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 the people to what serve his image, man, the image of the beast, okay, which is basically you know bowing down to this the, to this system, all right. There's nothing new underneath the sun. We gotta have that same mentality because what the scriptures told you, man, that Yahweh Shah said, what the devil shall. Uh, you know, throw you, uh, uh, throw you into prison. You should be tried ten days. Be faithful unto death. When you in them prisons, okay, it's a no holds bars to this devil. He's going, he's going to try to do whatever he, he can to 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 make you fold, okay. He's going to try to do whatever he can to break your spirit, man. But what we got to have the mentality that once again, Jeremiah thirty two and twenty seven. Behold, I am the power of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? The Lord put us in that position, but it's not too hard for the Lord to get us out of that position or to get us through that. Okay, that's why it tells you that that Jacob's trouble, but he shall be delivered. Uh, but he should be saved out of it. The Lord is going to save the elect, the ones that that believe on Him to uh, to get him out of that man. All right. Verse thirty-seven. It says. Um, Shalakia. Um, yeah, verse uh, 19, Daniel chapter 3, verse 19, it says, Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his vis uh, visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more, that then it won't, won't, then it was want to be heated. All right? And that's, hey, that's what Esau's mentality going to be against the men of the Lord, man. All right? You think Esau going to be, you know, uh, just accepting of the, the, the men that's uh, uh, speaking about the downfall of his kingdom? Okay. The man that is, that's telling him that he's going into captivity. Understand, man, count the cost when you're going out there in them highways and byways when you're putting up this, these lessons, man. You on, the, you on Esau's hit list, man. And understand that he has the tools. All right. The, the, he has, the, cap he has the, the tools to hit you. But guess what? If the Lord don't want him to hit you, it ain't going to happen. And that's what we have faith in, man. That's that's the level of faith that you got to have. All right. Just like how Nebuchadnezzar was full of fury. Understand that these elites, they're full of fury against us, man. They're full of fury. And Esau is is the most wicked uh, 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 of all. So Nebuchadnezzar put them in a fiery furnace. Imagine what Esau's trying to do, man. You know, like I said, I was talking to the brother. You know, and and I was watching this show that, uh, long story short, they had um, in this show, this uh, episode, this uh, one of the episodes, they had uh, virtual reality and uh, torture methods. Basically, they put like some kind of contraption on your brain and put you in a virtual spot, and you basically feel all the pain, all this torturing that they're doing to you, but your physical body is not, you know, is not dying, but you actually feel. You know the, the 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 pain so like they one one of the things they did was they uh you know cut off the person's uh, arms and legs you know another thing they set him on fire and he kept feeling it all right he actually died in the in the virtual reality thing but he just got respond all right he basically respond and it started all over again so it was like a perpetual cycle of just being tortured you know and and actually you know feeling the pain but they, but his physical body wasn't dying Esau got stuff like that, man. He's trying to do stuff like that, man. All right? Because he's full of fury against the man of the Lord. All right? It says, verse 20, really, it's against Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. But because we're pushing out this word, he's coming after, you know, the man that's pushing out this gospel. And there's nothing new underneath the sun. Okay? They did it with the, the disciples. All right? Uh, Paul, Peter, all of them, man. We in that same lot. Now the Lord is going to deliver us. Uh, uh, the Lord is going to deliver us, as the Scripture says that when the enemy should come in like a flood. But there's also going to be martyrs, man. There's also going to be ones who the Lord. It's it's the Lord's will for them to to you know go through that all the way up into death, man. But either way, understand that your faith gotta gotta still be strong, no, no matter which no, no matter which way it happens, man. All right, verse twenty. It says, and he commanded the, the most mighty men that were in the army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, their hats, and their other garments and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent 
and the furnace exceeding hot. The flame of the fire fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So the men that actually took Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to, to the fiery furnace, they got killed because of how hot the furnace was. Okay? And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, for all intents and purposes in their mind, they believe that the Lord could deliver them, but they said no matter what happens, we're still not going to bow down to you. So they probably thought, All right, well, we're about to get killed. You know, they probably, you know, in their mind, they understood that the Lord could deliver them. But as they said, that hey, even if the Lord don't deliver us, we're still not going to bow down to you. All right. But they had it in their mind to no matter what, they were going to trust in the Lord. They were going to be faithful. They were going to put their 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 honor in Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. That's why they didn't bow down to the king's commandment. Okay, it says verse 22. It says, um, Shalak, verse 23, it says, and these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, uh, fell down bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then Sha then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished, uh, astonished. It says, and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto, unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. So they were walking around in this fire. All right, mind you, this is not something that is normal. Okay, this is quote unquote paranormal. All right, this is something that uh physically should not happen so he's seeing this is like what the hell is going on right now why are they not first of all they're loose i bound them and second of all they're in the midst of a fiery furnace seven times hotter than the normal temperature and they're just there's no hurt on them verse 26 then nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spake and said shadrach meshach and abednego ye servants of the most high power come forth and come hither then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth out of the midst of the fire. And the princes and governors and captains and king's counselors being gathered together saw these men whom upon whose bodies the fire had no power. The fire had no power on their bodies, man. Think about that. The, just because they have faith in the Lord, the fire of that furnace didn't have power to burn them. Why? Because there's nothing too hard for the Lord to do. The Lord will deliver us out of any circumstance, man. Any circumstance that we go through, the Heavenly Father, through His Son, Yahweh Shai, can and will deliver us if we believe, man. If we just have the faith. It says, upon whose bodies the fire had no power, nor was an hair of, of their head singed, neither their coats changed nor the smell of fire had passed on them. So it was like they wasn't even in the fire at all. <laughs> okay? Just off of, the, off of the strength of their faith, they went in a fire, a fiery furnace, but it was like they was never there, man. That's the power of the Heavenly Father, man. That's the power of the power. That's the power of, of the power we serve, which power is insurmountable. Power, it, it has no end. Okay? Now, this is another example. 1 Samuel 17, verse 44. This is a story about David and Goliath, which is another famous story about faith, man. And, and the power of faith, how having faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, there's nothing to, there's nothing impossible can happen, man. Okay? Nothing, uh, uh, nothing is, is impossible with that faith in the Heavenly Father. Why? Because there's nothing impossible to the Lord because he's all he is all he is all all powerful and he's all possible. Everything is possible to him because he is. All right. It says, and the Philistine said to David, come to me and I will give thy flesh into the fowls of the air and to the beast of the field. Now, Dave, now Goliath was a champion warrior, man. All right. He had the whole army of Israel shook. But here it is, David, because he had faith in the Lord. What happens? We already know, you know, how that story ended. But let's see what David said. Verse uh, 45. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh of hosts, 
the power of the army of Israel's whom thou hast defiled. This day will Yahweh deliver thee into mine hand. That's it, man. The Lord can deliver us, deliver our enemies into our hand, and he can deliver us out of the hand of our enemies, man. And I will smite thee and take thy head from thee. And I will give the carcasses of the hosts of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is no power, that there is a power in Israel. What is that, man? David was talking shit, was boasting, being bold in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Just like how the seven brothers were being bold in the name and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, just like how the Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was being boastful and bold in the name and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Faith, man. That's what faith is. Okay, is having the confidence that the Lord can deliver you out of anything, man, because there's nothing too hard for him. All right, just like how David said that all the earth may know that there's a power that there is a power in Israel. What happened uh because of this impossible thing <laughs> all right uh, a fleshly impossible thing that happened with Shadrach Meshach and Abednego what happened going back it says verse uh, Daniel chapter 3 verse 28 it says then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said blessed be the power of Shadrach Meshach and Abednego who has sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him and has changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they may not serve nor worship any god except their own power boom man right there the deliverance is by way of faith man that's how you get delivered is by way of faith all right first uh, uh chronicles chapter 28 verse 20 and David said unto Solomon his son, Be strong and of good courage and do it. Fear not, nor be dismayed. All right. That's why the, even Yahweh Shai told us, once again, in Revelations 2 and 10, it says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, nor be dismayed. Don't be confounded. Don't be, don't be scared. All right. Why, man? Because we have the, the written word. We have the faith. We have examples of how men, righteous men, trusted and believed in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and they were delivered, man, from things that it would seem impossible to be delivered from, okay? A, sh a shepherd, all right, a herdsman, defeating a champion uh, warrior, that seems impossible, <laughs> but it was easy to the Lord, okay? Men being delivered out of a furnace, a, f a fire, that seems impossible, but it was easy unto the Lord. That's why David tells Solomon, fear not, nor be dismayed, for Yahweh power, even my power, will be with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee, until thou hast finished all the work for the service of the house of Yahweh. And hey, we're doing the service of the house of the Lord, man, the spiritual house, man. Okay? And we know we have faith. You, you, better, you better believe it, man, that the Lord won't forsake us nor fail us man he's not gonna fail the lord's too lord's power is is unfailable man okay it can't be defeated it can't be diminished and it can't be uh added on to all right he's not gonna forsake us man he will be with us until we finish the work now whether that be out there on highways and byways or whether it be when time that easter shards are rolling us and we got to go, you know, uh, before kings and, 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 and magistrates and synagogues or we got to get thrown into the, 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 the concentration camps. No matter what, man, wherever we at, the Lord going to be there, man. What did Yahweh Shai say? For lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. All right. And we know with that power being with us, nothing is impossible. OK, Romans chapter five, verse four. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. We got to learn this, man. We got to put this in our minds when that time comes, man. Okay? The time of just talking about it, is, uh, when we, we're, we are walking it, but it's going to be elevated, man, and escalated to the point where it's going to be in some impossible things, okay, that we think is impossible, but because we know that with the Most High, nothing's impossible, we're going to be delivered out of it, and it's going to be marvelous in the sight of all nations, man, of all these people. And why? Because we believed on the things that were written aforetime, man. 
you got to really believe. You got to really believe that the Lord delivered men from, from fire, man. That the fire had no power over their flesh. You got to really believe, okay, that the Lord delivered Daniel out of the lion's den. All right? Lions, man. I had a dream about that a couple weeks ago. That had power over two lions, man, that, that, were, that were listening to my command. And, this, and these things happened. That was just a dream to me. But Daniel really was in a lion's den, man. And the Lord had delivered him out of that. And it was easy. Okay. It says that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Yeah. And these words, man. And having faith and patience and comfort in these words that were written for us, for our faith, for us to believe this. That's what gives us hope so that when we go through our trial, when we go through our hour of temptation, we can recollect on these things that were written and know that, hey, the Lord did this before. And that was easy. So when we go through what we go through, know that the Lord can and will deliver us from those things, too. But if you don't have that faith, then what? You are an abomination to the Lord, man. You are foolish unto the Lord and he's not going to deliver you. If you don't believe him, why would he? Why would he deliver you if you don't believe him? Luke chapter 18, verse 27, he said, and he said, the things which are impossible with men are possible with the most high. And you go into that word impossible, all right? It says, without strength and potent, powerless, weakly disabled, unable to be done, impossible. Now it's unable for a man to go through a fire and not get burnt. <laughs> That's impossible. Fire burns, right? It's unable for a man to be in a lion's den with two hungry lions that were starving, were starved, and not be eaten. That's impossible. But with the most high, that's nothing. Okay? You go to the word possible, all right? It says without uh, impossible is without power. Possible is power, able, powerful, mighty, strong. Now, Abba Yahweh is what? Almighty. He has all the power. So for him to do such a thing is, is, is easy for him. It's possible for him to do that. And that's what you got to have faith in. That's, what, that's where the faith lies, man. That's where the righteousness lies is in knowing that with the Heavenly Father, hey, this is easy, man. We, we're going to go through it, but he's going to deliver us from it. Right? Luke chapter 1, verse 37. For with the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, nothing shall be impossible. And when it says nothing, it literally, literally means not one damn thing shall be impossible with the Most High, man. Nothing. Zero. Anything that you're in. Any type of situation. Jonah got swallowed by a, 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 a fish and was living. Come on, man. Come on. These things are nothing to the Lord. It's easy for the Lord to do this. He created it. Okay? And this is the power that we serve, man. This is the power that we fear and the power that we, <laughs> we trust in. And that's what it's all about. If you trust in him, he's going to do it. Plain and simple. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. For, but without faith, without trust, without belief, without unwavering Let's go into the word faith, man. It says, conviction of the truth of anything, belief. Okay? In the New Testament of a conviction or belief, respect, respecting man's relationship to the most high and divine things, generally with the included idea of trust and holy favor, born of faith and joining to him. Okay? So... Shalaki, it says the conviction, man. We got to be wholeheartedly convicted that whatever we're going through, all right, the Lord can deliver us from. It says, but without this, it's impossible to please him. All right, hey, now there go the word impossible, man. So without the faith, it's powerless, okay? It's, it's, it's unable. You're unable. You have no strength to please the Lord, man. Without the faith in the Lord, you have no strength to please the Lord. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. All right? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego diligently seek the Lord to the point where they knew that if they didn't 
bow down to this image, they were going to get killed. They were going to get thrown in this furnace, but they diligently seek the Lord and he rewarded them by way of what? Having them put into a fire, but having that fire have no power over them. All right. David diligently seek the Lord, man. Scripture says that David was a man after the most high's heart. And David, throughout all his wars and battles, always won, man. All right. This is this is the power that we serve, man. And this and he's going to reward us for that faith. Because you believe him, because you really believe that nothing's impossible, he's going to show you that nothing's impossible. He's going to put you in impossible situations that flesh can't deliver from, but then he's going to deliver you from it. And then what and what happens? You give the glory to the Heavenly Father, and then the whole world going to know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is the power to serve, man. Because he put you in a situation that nothing can take you, that no, that no man, all right, has the power to get you out of. He put you in a situation that you yourself have no power to get you out of. But because you have complete faith and trust in him, he going to deliver you out of it. And it's going to be easy for him to do it. All right. And I get this last scripture. It says Ecclesiastes, uh, slide, Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse uh, 26. For it is an easy thing unto the Lord in the day of death to reward a man according to his ways, man. And that goes both ways, okay? Because when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego got thrown, was getting thrown into that fiery furnace, all right? Understand that the whole world or the whole Babylon, Bab Babylonia thought that was going to be the day of death for them. But it was the easy thing for the Lord to reward them, as we just read. He's a reward of them that diligently seek him to reward them with life, man. Reward them with being delivered from that, okay? It was an easy thing for the Lord to deliver Goliath into the hand of David. Everybody thought that that was going to be David's day of death. The Philistines and all of Israel thought that was going to be uh, 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 David's day of death, man. But the Lord rewarded him according to his ways, according to his faith, man. And that's why Yahweh Shai, when he was delivering and when he was healing people, he says, what? That faith has made you whole, okay? So just, real, just, just have that in your mind, man. It's about the faith and understanding that with that faith, it's easy for the Lord to do the things which we think are impossible, okay? Because with the Most High, nothing is impossible, man. So with that, call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Lord willing. This was edifying, uplifting, and exhorting to the elect to build up the faith of the elect, man. Because that's what's going to deliver us in that day, man. A day of trouble, man, that we're coming into, the hour of temptation. So with that, Shalom.